Hello and welcome to another update video about Medic. Um, fairly, fairly positive at the moment about Medic. As you can see here, um, we basically hit all the target levels, right? So first of all, we came into this one here. So we didn't come down deeply, but we touched it. This was um, the level on our way down from the wave one into the wave two, where buying positions could have been set. Well, that was before I published my own um, <clears throat> buy orders on Discord, so that would have been it. But I told you back then, I think in a video, I told the channel members that I'm going in Matic because I expect a $4 Matic or more from here. And then we started to go up, gave you this le target level there. We did come into it, as you can see, not much again, but we did come into it. So there you go, you can see that. So that worked all out based on FIP levels. Yeah, th this is nothing, these target uh, areas are nothing else than FIP levels. Um, so you've got one here at the at the lower side, one in the middle and one at the upper side, you know, sort of providing support and resistance in that yellow target area, all based on the Elliott wave count and ideal target levels for each Elliott wave. Um, that worked out. Then after we couldn't push higher, I told you in the last video that um, there are a few possibilities here that we could have a one, two, one, two, one, two setup. If that plays out where you have these repeating one two scenarios one two one two this could be really bullish for Matic this could really push the price very very high in the next move up and to make that one two setup work which means wave one push to the upside wave two coming down wave one up wave two down but not making lower lows that would um, then we can that this is really bullish if you have one two one two Normally, the next move can be extended, can be really, really bullish. But to make that work, gave you here this target area to come into. If we turn around within this target area, this could be the next move up that will take us way into the yellow target area or even higher than that. Um, currently, we are, well, we did come into that yellow target area already and finding support here at the moment. And you can see how relevant, again, this support level was, this first target area, this FIP level. So we are currently finding support here at $2.07. Yeah, so very, very strong reaction to that target level here. Very strong reaction. So $2.07 really provided strong support, a uh, strong reaction here to the upside, coming down, up again, down again, up again, down again. Um, the thing is, the, the more often we test it, the more difficult it will be to move the, to push the price away from it and now we're already down here so my guess would be we break into the target area probably then find support here at 194 where we have this 20 day moving average down there and then 8, 184 if we lose that 184 will be that support and the lowest support we could do in that scenario is i think 177 um if we lose that i think that one two scenario is over then I think we're going to go down into this yellow target area once more, even deeper. Um, so it will be exciting to see how this is going to work out. Um, it, it's difficult to say now what's going to happen now and how, how to react. I mean, I did go in long down here, didn't sell up here because the sell order was not triggered yet, not quite. Um, probably should have set it a little bit lower, but doesn't matter. Um, I think overall Matic will go up much higher in the long run and hopefully hopefully we're going to find key support in this yellow target area and turn around from here. Bit too early to say that, uh, to, to say yet, but what we can see the price couldn't really push away from here anymore. So if it does though, then this would be a really, really bullish move. Yeah, really bullish. Um, where are we here on the one day chart daily? You know, not overbought at all. Um, however, we're going to get here probably a bearish crossover on the daily MACD, which could also indicate then a little bit of a sell signal that could just drive us deeper here into this yellow target or orange target area that I showed you here in the last video. Um, so yeah, short summary, if we turn around in this area here, bullish, if we drop through this target area below 178, basically then we're going to see much deeper levels, I think, between 118 and 150 and I think then even the immediate bullish scenario is probably over and then we're probably going to get back so if you lose that level here 177 I think then we're going to get back um, into the bearish scenario with a lot of the other cryptos um, uh, that are currently you know sort of um, yeah, consolidating and following Bitcoin. Matic hasn't really followed Bitcoin, Matic has been really strong 
So, you know, you've got the key levels here and you can set your stop losses if you wish to. I can't give you any advice on that, um, but I'm going to stay within Matic here. I'm going to stay invested. And um, this is part of my long-term holding portfolio anyway. So this is Matic. Um, brief update about how it's going. If this one, two is playing out at the moment, it's at the moment it is not invalidated. Yeah. And at the moment we have hit the target level. So that was um, as expected at the moment, but I would expect us to go deeper into the target area. And then in here, we need to see how the price is reacting. So I'm going to keep you updated. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please smash the like button and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.